Luba here with Rewind hey. and Skittles off screen, but it might pop in at some point, depending how terrible this is. Yes. Anyway, we are starting off. We don't know if we're going to do like continue doing this, so we'll say starting off with Hotel Twitwin. Yeah? yeah. Makes sense. In yeah. case we do say no, we are changing to something yeah. else. Yeah. We, we, just, we <laughs> just went and scrolled through the uh, free, free stuff, stuff section on Steam. On Steam. Yeah. And grabbed four games that looked interesting. Was it four? Yeah, it was four, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, yep. Yeah. Um, so, Hotel Touchwin. Visual novel. Uh, it said something Did I get the Steam page up? <coughs> no, it. <coughs> nah. It just, it, I was just thinking, trying to remember. It, it said something about a, str a, a strong female protagonist and supernatural creatures. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Alright, so yep. here we go. New game. Kobe. Kobe, Kobe, yeah, okay. Kobe, Kenzo, Tarek. <laughs> Tarek is special vampire person. Okay. Oh, belly button! <laughs> belly button! No boobs though. No. I'm assuming that's the hotel touch one. Yes, I assume so. Yes, Skittles. Why are you slapping me? This is the other house. That's the other house. Ah. As I gaze upon Hotel Tutwin, a slow shiver crawls up my spine. I was on a walk with my best friend Kobe, uh, but something drew me in. Neither of us can resist investigating now. You can be Kobe. So, Penny, are you ready? Um, um, yeah, let's go in. Wow, you're eager. I, uh... I'm ready too! It does not look ready. No. Uh, oh, sorry for that. I'm sure the sword from my family, family's novelty shop will protect us from anything in that abandoned hotel. Really? <laughs> the sword from my family's novelty shop. You talking? Well, let's do this. It doesn't seem abandoned at all. There are no co uh, cobwebs or rodents, and the light's shining dimly throughout the room. But I need your shoulder blade. Well, it's not a banner if it's inside. Ferdinand! Ferdinand! Further up, you completely missed it. Heh, can't be any- can't be. Anyway, follow- follow humans. I've been expecting you. This is the Tutwin Hotel. I'm Tarek. You gotta check in on what? You gotta check in on what? You're missing my- You're Kobe. Wait, this place is up and running? Since when? Let's just say a very lo long time. Why? Does the outside <laughs> look too creepy for it to be open? <laughs> oh, uh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Anyway, an anyway, anyway, you guys want a room? Well, I guess since we're here, we may as well. How much is it anyway? All expenses are paid later. That's reassuring. Yeah. Your guy's like... Ooh la la. We wander to our room for the for the night. So what do you think of our room? Pretty cheap and small, huh? <laughs> <laughs> two separate beds. Mm. Yeah, two separate beds. Huh? That's what you're commenting on? Penny, I... Uh... Uh, why did you always gonna mess with me like that? <laughs> we settle into our beds for the night. We've got uh, always been best friends, so I feel safe in Kobe's si uh, side. Uh, by Kobe's side <laughs> as feel, I sleep. You feel safe in Kobe's side. What, what is this? Put him open. Ep Star Wars episode Star Wars, five. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, he slip into a taunt oh. on. What was that? A little girl? I jumped to turn on the lights. There's no one else here. Kobe continues to sleep soundly in his bed. I'm probably seeing things. To be honest, I'm still a bit scared of this hotel. I have a strange feeling in my gut something doesn't seem right about this place. For now, I'll sleep it off. Dink. I abrupt I abrupt ab Abruptly. Abruptly. Awaken to a loud noise. Knock knock knock. The alarm clock reads seven o'clock AM. O'clock AM. Exactly. Kobe does not stir. I guess I'll get out of bed to answer the door. 
Um, hi. Oh yeah, I'm Penny, aren't I? Oh, pardon me. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kenzo, the manager of this hotel. It is my pleasure to welcome you in person. Additionally, I have come to invite you to our daily hotel-wide breakfast event. Would you be breakfast event? Would you be interested in attending? Well, thanks and all, but we've barely woken up this morning. I see. Well, we would love to have you. If you change your mind, the banquet hall is down the east corridor on floor one, past the lobby. Breakfast event? What's this I hear about a breakfast party? Well, you got dressed fast. <laughs> Why would you turn down an invitation from the manager? I think we should go. It could be fun. Alright, fine. I am pretty hungry after all. Why is he, why is, why is he so much shorter than him? Because he's so cute. Okay. The banquet hall is a spacious, brightly lit room. Its elegance contra contrasts greatly with the rundown exterior of the building. I need my glasses. They're all over there. So though. you did end up here after all. I knew you would. Welcome. The buffet is across the far wall. Sit wherever you like. And before you leave, see me and let me know how you enjoyed your experience. You go get me more glasses. Yep. Someone. <coughs> I nod at Kenzo and I proceed to the buffet. Don't show your bum on camera. I want to get to the food, but the bellboy is heading my way with a sly grin across his face. I already feel awkward. Lee. I thought you oh. was out. You was Tarek. Oh, fancy meeting you here, little lamb. <laughs> oh, and uh, you kid. Oh, oh, vision. Uh, hey, hey, kid, oh. you don't even look older than me. I'll take that as a compliment. He's like 200 years old or something, isn't he? Anyway, Penny, was it? Care to meet me by the juice bowl for a dance after you eat? What? I'm always in the mood for a good dance after a long night. In case you didn't notice, she's with me! <laughs> Feisty, aren't we? The question I'm asking next is... Are you ready, uh, really her boyfriend? <gasps> well, uh... No? You know what? I've had enough of this. Go with him if you want, Penny. I'll be outside that sliding door. I'm leaving without you if you're not there in ten. Didn't you have breakfast? Ugh. I, I wish it didn't turn out like this. I hate pretty petty drama. Kobe or take a breath breather. Ooh. Dunno. I think Kobe's being a bit of a git. Yeah, so do I. I'm sick of all this drama. Kobe can come find me when he wants to be uh, to be rational. But I'm not chasing him. I walk to the banquet hall exit. Hello there, Penny. Leaving so soon? Yeah, my exper experience wasn't so great. Keep your bellboy under control or fire him. That's my feedback feedback for you. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your day. I guess I'll just sit on the bed and read a book until Chloe comes back. The bed looks like it's on Still fire. Still waiting. It's been nearly two hours. It's not like him to ditch me. He must have really left when he said, I'll go too. I made my way down the hall and, and soon run into a familiar face. Kenzo! Oh, hello! On your way out? I can't let you leave without making your payment. Fine. Very good. Right this way, miss. Die. Please sit in front of my desk. Care to answer a questionnaire with me? Someone knocks on the door and opens it. Um, what's going on in here? Oh, have you two been properly introduced? Penny, this is Detra. She owns the Tutwin Hotel. I saw this girl at the breakfast party. Keep, uh, keep her here until sundown. I've already decided how her debt will be paid. What? You haven't even spoken with me yet. Detra exits through the exits through the exit door, ignoring me completely. How rude! Wait, sundown? But what about my friend? Didn't he leave? I'm sorry about this. Kenzo exits the exits the office, locking the door behind him. 
Well, great. I think I'm going to die tonight. Unless I can find a way out. A notebook sits on the edge of the desk. It catches my eye. I need to see what's inside. When I flip open a random page, it reads, Day 7,533 at the Tutwin. Men and women alike seem to be increasingly arriving in these strange pants with all kinds of patterns and colours. The, prog prog the progression of fashion fascinates me. Seven pants? What a weird thing to write about. I flip to another page. 533. Yep. Day 14,969 at the, at the Tutwin. I haven't written here in years, but today is a special day. We have hired a, chi a chef, a chief. <laughs> I used to hope nobody would get hired here again, but I'm excited to see a new variety of food from such a passionate young la lady. 50, 50 odd years? Hmm, I was hoping to read something interesting or helpful, but I guess this is just a journal. I'll keep looking around. It's been like 50 years! A cabinet say, uh, uh, is a good place to look. When I pull it open, I see a huge pile of crossword puzzle books. Oh, and they all look used. Who has this much time on their hands? The guy who's been here for 50 odd years? Yep. I'm getting a weird feeling from this drawer. Maybe I should take a peek inside. I gently pull to open, pull it open to reveal a rope. The end is tied with, into a loop. Oh my, why does it keep... Why does he keep this here? That's not okay. It, in movies and shows, people always hide stuff among their uh, uh, among their books on a shelf. Maybe I'll find something up there. I reach back my arms up, but can't can barely reach. C come on, books! I start to jump, but a voice startles me. What are you doing? Oh wait, you should say this. Uh, what? Who are you? Where did you come from? Through the wall, of course. I'm Aniko, and I need your help. Through the wall? Kenzo's my brother. Please save him. He's being controlled. Listen, kid. I don't know who you are or what's going on, but I need to get out of here. I'll help you get out of this office if you agree to save him. I guess that sounds better than dying. Good. Now, brother is a really cautious, cautious. person. So he has a secret exit in this room. It's behind that bookshelf. What a classic place for it to be. We didn't get to f f look at the one. Oh well. Right this way, miss. We're heading to the dungeon of Wing A. What happens at sundown? The vampires come out. Now will you focus? You're on a mission. Is that a serious answer? I'm guessing As we yes. walk, three figures turn a corridor to face us. Ani Aniko? Aniko? Oh good, you've let the prisoner out. Oh god. Oh god. I have a name, you know. The... The chef girl pulls Anito into pose. Ah! Ken Ken! Your sister is so, so cute. Devious little thing. Why do you keep doing this, Aniko? This isn't even the first time. I can't explain it to you because you can't process it. None of you can! Try me. Watch this, Penny! Brother, I'm taking her to the dungeon of Wing A to save you! Kendo and his friends stand there for ten seconds as if paralyzed. Then, uh, then they blink and take in a heavy breath. Aniko, I can't let you take this girl out of that office. Not only because I don't know where you're going, but mostly because Detra gave me specific orders to keep her there. Aw, oh, come on, Ken Ken. Line up a little. Ani Ani Aniko doesn't doesn't ever get to talk to anyone but us. Let her play with her, with her with the prey. You can't keep this little cutie cooped up forever, right, Ray Ray? Isolation can ha have negative effects on humans, you know. I know you feel it, Kenzo. Do you want to subject your sister to that? No, of course. I wish we had have more friends. I, I guess you can go somewhere for a little while. Just make sure she's back in the office before dark. Okay. Oh, ooh, Aniko. You should try torturing her. That's <laughs> always fun. See you later, cutie.
Kenzo, Sayana, and Rila uh, continue to walk down the hall. What's that all about? You didn't even. They, why didn't they listen when you said where you're go we're going? Oh, talk the tree you. used fear to block out their comprehension of that dungeon. That's her main power to control fear. She did it so they couldn't c can't get those their souls back themselves. You're only supposed to talk like that when someone's grabbing your balls really, really tight. No, Just I'm say. not. How did she take them? Enough questions. Come on, we're running out of time. This is as far as I'll go. Are you okay? Are you alright? Yeah. These stairs will take you down to the dungeon. I recommend avoiding the elevator. Give your hand. Why can't you go down there with me? My soul might get stuck with the others because I don't have a physical body. I'm not sure it works like that, but I'd rather be safe. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just going to sit down here for a minute. I feel like I can live by myself. Okay. Don't die down there, okay? I really want this to finally work. Well, that's reassuring. I walk to the stairwell. See you later, I hope. Crap, it's dark down here. How am I ever gonna... Walk into a wall? Uh, Kobe, what are you doing here? Pe Penny, I was waiting for you. Wait, how did you know I was coming down here? I told you to meet me outside at breakfast. But you ditched me. Kobe, I... Quiet, you bitch! Just looking at you brings me pain. Die! That's so... Yes. <laughs> well, that was kind of awkward. K Kobe! Second Kobe? What? Kobe. Aww. You're less sad. I think this place is supposed to instill fear to, to prevent us from reaching the, the souls because it's been showing me my worst fears. Let me show you. It's not going to focus very well, but oh well. It's a kitty sleeping! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I tried. What, have you read all that? Outside yep. the room? Funny, it's actually making me more confident in my weapon wielding. When I first got here, I slayed a spider! Oh wow. <laughs> a spider? That's what you're afraid of? It was a huge spider, okay, like the size of a car or a house. Mm-hmm, okay. Whatever you say, how did you end up down here anyway? This morning, when I was about to leave the banquet hall, the chef stopped me. She was upset that I was leaving without trying the food she prepared. I told her I wasn't in the mood, but somehow she convinced me, and sure enough, it was delicious. She was pretty cute, too. Her name was Sienna. So when I finally got to leaving, this little girl with purple aura, with a purple aura, yeah. told me that Sienna is trapped in this hotel and told me I could save her by coming down here. And I thought, why not, right? It'd be the perfect activity to get my mind off. Well, you. For all I knew, you ran up with that bellboy. <laughs> Wait, you know her too? Yeah, I passed her on the way here. Then you must have seen how cute she is, right? It doesn't she seem a little crazy to you? Hey, you're not allowed to get jealous. You're the one who rejected me by leaving me at the banquet hall. Fair, but that's irrelevant. She told the little girl that it's fun to torture people. Well, maybe it can be. Wait, okay. what? How about we get to that room over there? It looks pretty promising. You mean the only other room down here? <gasps> What an idea! Let's go! Douchebag. Wow, this room is not what I was expecting. It's a lot weirder. Take it off! Uh, wait, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Indeed I am. No! That's not at all what I was expecting either. Do you think they might be... The souls? That's a likely possibility, yes. That's really messed up. But I guess we have to... Take them with us. Take them with us. Wabbit! Kitty! Kitty and...
whatever the green. They look like are. a panda bear, I think. You actually returned? Oh, I mean, took you long enough. So, do you have the souls? Uh, well, about that. Uh, potentially, if we did find them, how would we go about reapplying them to the people they go to? Well, I guess we'd try to put them back inside them somehow. Or maybe when they're near, they just get sucked into into their mouths like a stream of translucent air, or something. I see. Wow, look at this. Both of the guests are here. I couldn't tell but overhear this talk about souls. What's that about? Oh, hi, brother. You're just in time. Penny and Kobe may have found a way to save you and your friends. Wait, what? You say these two did in a matter of a day what all of us have failed to do for decades? <laughs> That's preposterous. Hey, what do you mean? Your sister knew all along how to do it, but you just wouldn't listen. Aniko? Uh, no. Aniko? I think I, her brother, would know better than you about what she knows. But even with proof, none of this matters anyway. Soul or no soul, I can't leave you behind, my little sister. But brother, you have to. You can't stay here forever. There's a way for you. I know if there was a way for me, you'd want me to take it. Wait, but there is a way for Aniko. If she's here, she must have unfinished business, right? If that gets fulfilled, maybe she can move on. I don't think that's very likely. Aniko wasn't always here. She was brought back by Detra in exchange for my soul, because I couldn't let go. However, I thought her life would be fully restored, not a ghost bound to this awful place. I let devil trickery get the best of me. But it's worth a shot, right? Would you rather just give up? No. Let's do this. How do we begin? Well, I like the fact I'm just like, honestly. <laughs> well, do you remember the day she died? Yes. Very much so. I've never talked about this before, but... I guess there's no other way. It was my 21st birthday. Of course, I had nothing planned but work. When my day duties were complete, I was on my way out. That's when I saw her. She had fallen from the roof. Your birthday? Do you remember something? My brother's birthday. I bet he'll love what I made him. I have to see his face when I give it to him. I hope it makes him happy. Oh, am I Sienna? Yeah. Hey guys! Sienna and Riley run from the other side of the hall. Everyone meets halfway. Hey guys, what you talking about? Let me in on the action. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Hi, Kobe. Uh, hi. Well, we were just figuring out how to set Aniko free. Am I here as well? Yes. Interesting. So, what is the gift? Aniko was get going to give Kenzo on his, is her unfinished business. It's not unfinished. I made it perfect. I just don't know where it is. Then we have no choice. Let's split up to find it. I promise I'll do my best. You don't do that for me. I called Kobe as my partner. Wow, I was picked first for once. Well, if we're picking teams, really is the coolest one. Not your own brother? Of course not. Well, I guess that leaves me with you, Penny. <laughs> At least, <laughs> At least your heart. hearts. What? You must be mistaken. No one's ever called you hot, hmm? That's obviously not it. I just didn't expect that. Come on, Nico. We should be searching now. Let's go too, Sienna. Aww, just when it was getting interesting. Call me Cece, by the way. Let's just focus on the task. Why are we in front of your office? 
When you escaped, you left the bookshelf wide open. Now I must fix it. I'll stand out here. That's understandable. We still have time before sundown. Now, where shall we go? You seem eager. Well, I guess maybe the courtyard. Anika probably passed through there to give you the present. Plus, there's so much vegetation that could be hiding in. It's got to be hidden well for you not to notice it for all these years. You're right. Nobody really maintains that garden enough to notice the fine details. It just exists alone somehow. Well, lead the way! Wait a second, is that... I can't help but overhear a distant conversation. So you think the present might be around here? You're cute. Be my boyfriend. Huh? That was really sudden. Oh look, it's King Ken and that girl. Hey Penny, we were just looking for that present for an eco. Guess splitting up just led us to the same place after all. And then Kobe and I became an official couple. He's all mine now. No touchy, you hear? <laughs> hey, I don't remember agreeing to this. <laughs> what a funny joke, dear. Is she chewing on the knife? Yep. Have you two made any progress? Penny is running out of time. Since when do you care about Penny? You wanted her locked up earlier. You don't know me at all, even after all these decades. I don't follow Detra's orders because I want to. Well, don't get so offended. Other than the deal with your dead sister, you're in the same boat. Come on, Kobe. Let's go have some better fun. <laughs> wow, you're really blunt. Well, uh, see you later, Penny, I guess. Don't talk to other girls. You're with me now. Bye. That girl is just filled to the brim with ignorance. I shouldn't be mad. Everyone has a different coping mechanism for a situation such as ours. Everything will work out. After we save your sister, we can work together on freeing you to free you all. It's quite refreshing to see confidence such as yours. And progress, we have a goal because of you. And for that I'm thankful. I will do everything in my power to make sure everything can work out for you too. Well good. <laughs> Let's go back to our meeting spot to see if any progress has been made. Good idea. Would you even look in the garden? <laughs> now we can be alone. Those weirdos can be... It can do whatever. Well, I hope nothing goes wrong. By the way, you were really forward back there. I don't know how to react. If you think of something to say or do, no matter how bad, you should always act on it. That's the only way things can get interesting around here. You'll figure it out. Hey, there's something under the stairs. Come look! Oh, you're right. Sienna reaches down to grab the object. It's a small wrap wrapped box. This is definitely the gift everyone's been looking for. Good eye. Now we can go back and save Annika. Then everyone will have a chance of getting out of here. Huh? But I want to go to the roof. That's where I was talk where I was taking you. But why would we waste time if we can save everyone? A new couple needs their quality time, silly. Don't you want to know every everything about me? Cuz I want to know all about you. It'll be so romantic. The roof always is. She's gonna chop him up, isn't she? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe we should take it slow. Shouldn't we get back now? I'm sure they're wondering if we found it. And we have so... Come on! You mean you don't feel the same? You're even backing away from me. This isn't how you treat a girl. Sienna, wait. You can't run away now. I, we have something to do. Kobe runs after Sienna. Oh god, uh, I don't see where she went. She ran away crying. Why can't I do anything right today? I guess I'll go meet the others and organize a new search party. That is, if we still have the time. Humans think they're so clever. They must think I don't know anything right now. Knock, knock, knock. Who dares interrupt me? Com uh, contemplating time. Com com Cont contemplation. Contemplation time. 
Can I come? Oh, can I come in, Miss Detra? Very well. It's been a while since you've come crying to me. What grounds your desperation? My boyfriend doesn't have time to spend with me. Make him one of us. Then we'll surely have all the time in the world together. Please, Miss Detra. You poor, weak-hearted kitten. From newcomer, you hold so dear. What? That hold so dear has no place in this hotel. Oh, that newcomer you hold so dear has no place in this hotel. It's best he and his friend die before releasing my property. It's, it's a risk I'd rather not take. No, kill Penny uh, if an kill Penny if anybody. She's the one causing problems. Kobe can be a good servant. He's loyal, cute, and can wield a sword. <laughs> I don't think you understand the delicate balance I have in this uh, in place at this hotel. The more souls I add to the collection, the more likely I am to lose them all. It gets increasingly difficult to find the right pieces to fit the ecos ecosystem. ecosystem. Your crush doesn't make the cut. He will die tonight. Hey, what if I have something to give you? Surely you, you'll make a trade. Jenna pulls from the pocket the gift box Kobe found. What? Where did you find that? Detra attempts to grab it, but her hand gets shocked, preventing her from touching it. Ha, what a sensation. It looks like you've made things interesting. Huh? Why can't you take it? Ignorant child, you don't know what you're giving up. Once I, full, once I fulfill my side of the bargain, I will, will be able to have that box. I cannot refuse your deal now. So you mean, Kobe will be mine for all eternity? Oh, I can't wait. Now, keep that object safe and to yourself, no matter what. You wouldn't want to unravel it, everything, would you? No, ma'am. Hmm? You're Kenzo. Oh, yes. Any luck with the church, ladies? I don't remember anything of that day except the desire to find you and give you your presents, so no! I have no idea where I could have left it. We didn't have any luck either. I failed you, sister, but as long as I live, I will continue my search. Surely one day I will recover what was lost. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. It's not your fault, brother. We don't even know what happened. Maybe it was a murder. It may have been a murder. Aniko seems too smart to just fall off a building. If we get to the bottom of this case, we can prove your, the guilt of who's actually responsible. I don't believe it's you, Kenzo. But it could have been anybody. I suppose you're right, Penny. But you don't have much time left. It's already sundown. It's time for me to go now. I have duties as a maid. I can't escape. Uh, I suggest you two return to the office before your absence is discovered. Hey guys. What happened? Oh. Uh, what happened, Kobe? I lost Sienna and I made her cry. That girl is such a drama queen. I knew this would happen. I have to go find her. I think she has your gift, Aniko. We found it on some stairs. And you know Hotel Touchwin better than I do. So, do you want to help me? Uh, yeah. Let's go! I'd also like to help recover that gift. But I must escort you back to the office. Let's go. My apologies, Penny. But you'll have to remain here for the time being. I don't understand. All I've been trying to do is help you and your sister, but here you are handing me over to the devil. We can't just sit here and do nothing. That's not my intention. I told you I'd do everything in my power to see that you're safe. Power? What power do you have exactly? Because last I knew, you're just the fake manager who... Oh, is that you? <laughs> uh, who traps people so they can die or spend eternity here in a dead-end job. <laughs> That's what I am now. Yeah, so get serious, dude. You know, it wasn't always this way. Hotel Tutman is rightfully mine. 
It all began in the time of World War II. Anyone of Japanese heritage in America would be, was held there to suffer until we proved not to be spies. I was released in 1946. I was shown the dark side of humanity, preparing me for what was to come. My family had previously owned the Tutwin Hotel, but someone had bought it while we were away. Having lost our livelihood, I worked hard for my family to earn the money to take it back. I spent about four years at a part-time job to save up. The new owners of the Tutwin were struggling with the upkeep and management, so I was able to regain it as a special deal. Must have been a special deal if you only needed four years of part-time work. Mm. However, it was left in bad condition. All our decorations and merchandise gone. I had to start from scratch. After I bought it, I brought Aniko there to pick out a room. I figured she should have a place to play while I was watching her. And that's when it happened. I left her alone in her room during a meeting and later found her. My precious little sister had fallen and it was all my fault. I should have been there to save her. There were very few people who didn't blame me for what happened. Even my own parents blamed me. Detra found me at my weak point and used it to weasel her way into my life. She told me she could make me forget all about Aniko's death, that she could take away my pain. I almost caved, but I wasn't ready. I engrossed myself in the renovations as a distraction from my loss and guilt. I gave Tutwin its beauty, all by myself. All by myself. The more I pushed Detra away, the more she persisted. As she drew closer, I grew terrified of being alone, so I let her in. I postponed the Tutwin's opening date further and further out of fear of failing. I was convinced it was going to go, it was going under before I even tried. My life fell apart. Before long, I couldn't pay the bills or buy supplies. And one day, Detra proposed a deal. She promised me that the Tutwin would be successful under my supervision. I would have free meals every day, and Annika would come back to me from the dead. All I had to do was devote my soul to her. I agreed. Before I knew it, the Tutwin Hotel was made a mockery. Nothing turned out the way I thought, and I became subservient to a ridiculous sadist and a crazed pet vampire for all eternity. So there you have it, the never-ending conundrum of broken dreams that is my life. What a roller coaster! Maybe you're right that we should do something. It all seems hopeless to me. But you've proven that there are ways to bend the rules of this existence. Well, let's get your, your Let's hotel. get the hotel back. Let's break into the FBI. No. You're so determined. But yes, I agree. How? Okay, so get this. She made me a deal with you. She made a deal with you for your soul, right? She has, has to be a devil. The devils and devils of games, they can't turn down a challenge. I've never really thought of that, but yes, that is what legends seem to say. What do you suggest? We can challenge her to a game and win the hotel back along with everyone's souls. You never cease to amaze me. What game will we challenge her to? Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty good at uh, no, no, Well, you. I'm pretty good at video games, and what video games do you know? It's from. Um, what's a video game? Oh, uh, I forgot how old you really are. What are you good at? Mm, let's see. I can do a mean crossword puzzle. Impressive, but how about something less boring and difficult? <laughs> Golf, then. <sighs> I think we're getting nowhere fast. How about dancing? My mum put me through tons of dancing lessons as a little girl. I'm a bit risky now, but I, but I excelled at it. Dancing? Us? Dancing together? I didn't peg you as the dancing type, honestly. But it works for me, I suppose. Great! Now I guess we wait for Detra to come to us. Since it's sundown, she'll show up any minute, right? Yes, we shall wait her arrival in this office. Oh, you're both here. Well, let's get the, this judgement going. My judgement for this girl is death. So, let's go, go get this over with. Well, about that. Penny and I have a proposition to make. Oh. Grown fond of this girl, have you? 
How interesting. Interesting. Let's hear about this proposition. Interesting. We challenge you to a game. Wait, what? Nobody's challenged me in years. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember who's terrible. I think it was you. Holy shiz! Things are finally getting interesting around here. What game? A dance off. <gasps> Reaction shot. Very well, but I get to choose the stage. Deptra snaps her fingers. Welcome to hell, Vermin. This is where people who love competi competitive sports end up. Burning on the bent bleachers. Oh yeah, I don't dance, but on black grass among among suffering sinners, count me in. Wait, who's judging? The souls of the damned, of course. I love an audience. Once the contest ends, they will deliver the final bidding, binding Wait. verdict. So lesser creatures. What are your stakes? If you win, you get both our souls. But if we win, you return Hotel Tutwin to me and release our friends. Wow. Two whole souls from a challenge? Let the contest begin. A light appears. From it sounds the wails of countless voices in pain, con conveying the undeniable message that we are victorious. <laughs> Kenzo and I smile at each other. Hey, we did it! We did, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> this is rigged! Rigged, I say! Shut up, hag. <laughs> we won and you lost. The Tutwin belongs to me. Vacate at once! Carrick immediately <laughs> leaves out the door. Well, out the window. I cannot defy the conclusion of a game. But from now on, Enzo, you must still live with the scars I gave you. All the empty years spent in this prison as a slave, all the death you've been a part of, and everything up to this point has been caused of me. Because of me. Even in the very beginning, the beginning where I pushed your sister off the roof. Detra vanishes, leaving behind a heavy silence. She did what? She's gone, Kenzo. It's okay. Everything is okay now. Let's go find everyone else. Kenzo takes a deep breath and follows towards <coughs> the office door. Somebody's standing outside. It's Aniko. She heard everything. I didn't commit suicide after all. I remember now. Aniko, I'm sorry you had to hear that. It's a good thing, brother. Don't you see? Now the truth's out. I know it wasn't your fault. I spent so long believing I did this to you. I see. I'm glad then. Um, brother, do you see that? See what, Aniko? A glowing light right over there on the hall! It's your time then. No, it can be. I want to stay here with you! Don't be so scared, Aniko. You can finally be at peace, and I'm proud to say now that I'll join you one day. Yeah, I suppose you will. Thank you, Penny. Aniko walks into the light. Well, that's that. <laughs> suggest breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I want to suggest breakfast. Yeah, it'll all be okay. Anika deserves release. And I'm happy for her. Say, why don't we go find everyone else? We can all have breakfast together in your dining hall. <laughs> yes, what a splendid idea. We begin walking in search of Kobe, Sienna, and Ryla, Rayla, Rila, whatever. 
three hours earlier. Earlier? Yeah. Walk through the lobby. Hee hee hee. I can't wait for Kobe to be mine forever like Detro promised. Oh, speak of the devil, it's Kobe and, I and Aniko. Sienna, why did you run away before? I was worried and you made me feel terrible. You were worried about me? Hee <laughs> hee, it's okay babe, I'm fine. Well, uh, good then. You still have that gift, right? Hand it to Aniko so she can say for sure it's the one. I can't do that. Why not? Because I remembered it's mine. Yeah, I made it for my ex crush, so I threw it out. You don't, be, you, you won't be seeing that thing out again. No Siri. No Siri. Oh, no Siri. Okay. You're the only man in my life now. Oh no, so that wasn't even it. What are we gonna do? Well, I don't mind if you try to help everyone else first. Don't you still have Cece's soul? You can give it to her now. I can't take that out in front of you, Aniko. Why not? <laughs> no reason. Whatever, I'm going back to brother then. Wait, you have my soul? Why didn't you tell me before? I guess because we were on a different mission, and I needed to mentally prepare to show it to you. Kobe reaches into his pocket and takes out his pink, the pink toy. <laughs> takes out his pink toy. <laughs> oh my babe, you're so naughty, I can't believe you just whipped that out in the hallway. <laughs> Wait, are we gonna do it right here? What? Of course not. This is really your soul. Get it back into me then. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Nothing at all. I have really. Uh, I have bad news. Detra is battling Kenzo and Penny right now as we speak. What? How do you know? I never reveal my sources. We shouldn't we go help them? We can't. They're in another dimension. Yeah, it's called hell. Then what should we do? She's probably gonna come for you next. You should hide. I'm not just gonna run away knowing my friend's in danger. If we don't know where they went, we need to wait for Dextra to come to us. It's the only chance we have at saving Penny. Is that all you care about, Kobe? Saving her? <sighs> Yeah, I'm a hero. Why are you crying now? I should be the most important to you because I'm your girlfriend. Look only at me! Sienna turns and runs away. <laughs> Am I- <laughs> Am I supposed to go after her? Well, you have some time to waste. <laughs> is, this that, is this the garden again? I think. Yeah. There you are, Sienna. Why are you being so selfish? This is a time of crisis! Do you remember this place? This is where we became a couple. You're supposed to be there for me, and I'm supposed to be there for you. You you call this being there for me? Throwing a tantrum out of jealousy? I am here f there for you. I'm the reason you're not going to die tonight. What are you talking about? I'm saving you, my love. I talked to Detra about this. When she comes for you, she's taking. She'll take my your soul, so you can be with me forever at Hotel Tutwin. She was gonna kill you if I didn't bag him with it. Oh God! I just realized we're coming. What? I'm definitely not doing that. You don't have a choice, dear. The wind makes a whooshing sound as a figure manif manifests out of nowhere. All right, filthy mortals. Uh, we don't have much time, but I'd like to complete some deals. Not gonna happen, evil hag. You will submit to me or die. When Dactra gestures her arm forward, Kobe falls uncontrollably and cowers as a result of her fear manipulation power. Make a wish now, boy, and our deal is final. I. I. No, not yet. Just a little longer. I'll honor my loss after this. I need those souls! A light takes Detra over, ex 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 exiling, exiling her that. from the realm. So just in time. <laughs> um, what? What? Detra must have been be uh, beaten in a game. Her spell is broken. Check's pocket. Your souls are gone. 
Is that why you guys look like that? Uh, wait a second. Sienna, what did you trade Detra? What did you trade Detra to change her mind about killing me? Uh, the gift. Sienna pulls the box out of her pocket, but a light overtakes it. It disappears. That was a soul. The person it belonged to must have passed on just now. You were going to trade someone else's soul to keep me here? I... I'm sorry. This place changed me when I lost my soul, making me lose control. I'd take it all back if I could. Oh gosh, really? You're a different person now? Of course, idiot. Do either of us look like we did a few minutes ago? We, we regained our souls. No, you look like a guy now. Yep. So let's start over. I'd love to get to know the real you. The you with a soul inside. Both of you! I felt more like myself before, but fine I guess. I'm Raymond. Uh, Raymond Holt. No, she he's not Raymond Holt. Aww. I can't lie, you look the same but with shorter hair and no dress. If it makes you happy, you can get another dress and still be realer. Really? You don't think boys have to wear boy clothes? No. It's 2019. <laughs> so, Sienna, if Rila made a deal if Rila made a ch deal to change genders, what did you wish for? I was really bad in the kitchen before hotel t hotel took win. I wanted to have the ability to cook for the boy I liked. When I realized it was all for nothing that he would grow up and die without me, I lapsed into insanity. Oh well, uh, that's sorry I asked. Let's go. Let's have breakfast. She's not cooking. Maybe she is. It's a table. That's what happened in, on our end. Aniko passed on. That gift must have been from her all along, and I never got to see it. The gift may have, gift may have disappeared because it held on Aniko's soul before she passed on. I'm sorry for your loss. I understand if you can't forgive me. The past is the past. We can only look forward from here. This hotel will change for the better. How did you guys defeat her? I love victory stories. An epic dance-off in hell. <laughs> Whoa, for real? What was it like? Was the fire? Was it a ritualistic dance? Haha, <laughs> nope. It was more romantic than that. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad you're okay. If I may, I have something to say. I truly hope we can all be friends now. But Kobe, even though my eyes are open to all the bad things I've done that I would never do again, one thing hasn't changed. I still have feelings for you. Would you be willing to try again? I can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah, I always thought you were cute, and maybe without all the crazy, we can make it work. <laughs> but I'd like to take it real slow. <laughs> okay? Really? You do that? Ah. I'm so happy. She says, I'm so happy. Sienna was never good at acting, so she must be genuine. However, I still can't help feeling a twinge of jealousy. I shrug it off. Yeah, you've got the manager now. Mm -hmm. Well, cheers to the happy couple. How about cheers to you, Kenzo? This is your hotel again. Chin all the glasses on the table are raised. Chink. And then the table disappears. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now I don't know about you all, but I'm tired. I'd better get some rest if I'm going to work on opening the Tutwin to the public. So good day oh, to all. <laughs> Did you hear yeah. it? I should be going too. Since the sun's coming up, coming up, I think I can go make it home. <laughs> okay, Penny. Want me to walk you home? No, I'll be fine. I raise from my chair to exit the dining room. Someone's walking over there. That person must be leaving too. Who is that? Hey, you! Oof, oof. Hey! No oh, wait, that's you. Hey. <laughs> is that oh it's yeah. this, yeah. Uh, what are you looking at, ugly? Uh you're the creepy bellboy. Is that your coffin? No it's not. Now go mind your own business, or you'll be sorry. Okay, I begin to step backward. Stop. I trip backward and I feel sharp things pricking my arm. Wrapping around me and pulling me off the ground. 
Oh. So after all that, we die anyway. Oh well. We fall. We get Please eaten by vines. Please stay ten feet away from vines. So he says get back, not realising that the killer vines were in the tree behind us. Well, that was an interesting hour of our lives. Yes. It was quite good, actually. I've never done a visual uh, visual novel yeah. before. So. Okay, we hope you enjoyed it. I yep. know I, I did. Did you? Yeah. Okay, I'm Luby. I'm Ruby. And Skittles is over there. I don't think she's paying any attention. Well, maybe she is. Okay. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.